going out to the rice fields. And yes, it really is that bumpy. Hello, Samuel. Bumpy. by the ditch, I ask my wife, well, if you can grow grass, why not plant sugar cane? And she says, well, if you plant sugar cane, somebody will come along and steal it. Oh, okay, that explains that. Bryce Field. Uh, this is Peron's Field, and he has broadcast seeded it with seed that he got from a neighbor uh, that the neighbor stored. And as you can may be able to see, there's a lot of ungerminated seed on the top of the ground. A lot of ungerminated seed. Just looks like seed husk. It has not germinated. And that's common with saved non-hybrid seed. You can also see there's a very light dusting of green across the surface that isn't rice. That's, that's weed coming in. That's grass Definitely. coming in. Yeah, just plain. Also notice how uneven the field is. So it's it's definitely going to be a very uneven crop. And very thin. I mean, compared to over here, neighbor's field, very thick and very little grass. And over here, very thin, very much grass. Other neighbor, thick, but a lot of grass. So highly varied. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this on June 15th, give or take. June 15th-ish again. Here we have rice field. And in between the rice fields, we have boons, slightly raised areas to trap water on one field or another. And in the boons, we have rat holes, rat nests. And you can see the rats just love eating the rice that has been seeded across the field. All the yellow stuff to the right there is uh, rice husk surrounding the seed. And there are many, many such rat holes here in the Bund. There's another, for example, as I walk along here, I'm sure we'll find many more. There's one that's slightly caved in. Oh gosh, there's another and another. And let's find some more. Oh, and of course, I then come across a patch where there are very few. There is one. There is one. So many, many rat holes, many rats. On the one hand, they are a major problem in eating the uh, rice seed. But on another hand, that's a crab shell right there. And here is another, either, I think that's a crab shell. Crabs are a major pest of the rice, too, mostly in the wetter season. And the uh, rats eat the crabs, and they also eat um, snails. And, of course, rats turn both the crabs and the snails and the rice seed into protein. It's actually an export crop worth $2 a kilo when sent into Vietnam. That's only for grain-fed country rats like these, not sewer-fed city rats. And on, on that happy note, end of show. Weeds in the rice field. <laughs> this one came from London. He working in the field. <laughs> yeah. A sight you have not seen before. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Life plans to go. 10,000 to go. Five plants down, 10,000 to go. Many rifle in 
Many rice fields and many, many weeds. Not that okay. <laughs> it's okay. Enough? Enough. Okay. Bye bye, this one. Look, many rice fields. A lot of rice fields.